So, do you consider yourself a consumer of the mental health system? Yes. Do you consider yourself a consumer survivor? Yes. Do you consider that you're in either a state of recovery or have reached recovery? You know, I think that I am doing pretty well. I feel like I am pretty much recovered. I like I've been like a full year without like my usual symptoms, I guess, but it's there are still times when like, I, I I have like you know, thoughts, I guess. It, it, it's still hard basically, but it's um I'm doing really well <laughs> overall. Yeah. So what is your best coping tool? You know, I think it, it would have to be advocacy because that was and it's kind of like these are like two questions here, you know, the turning point and the coping tool are kind of the same thing for me mm -hmm. because it was when I discovered that, you know, it's okay to kind of get a little bit angry about some of these things that that really changed my internal perspective on, I think, because when it comes down to it, I think I was experiencing issue, an issue of self-worth. Like, I thought it was okay for people to kind of walk all over me. So when I got into this, like, you know, advocacy and, like, helping other people, it was really easy for me to see that, like, wow, it's not okay for it to happen to those people. Why is it okay? Why do I think it's okay for this to happen to me? And then I was really like, like wait, that's a contradiction. It's not okay. Who supported you the most in your life, and what was the most helpful thing that they did? Grant, my boyfriend. He just, he just always accepted, accepted me, like, no matter what. Um, I often feel kind of guilty, because, like, I feel like I put him through a lot. But, um, he's just always been there, like, no matter what. Mm-hmm. What is some of the best advice that you have been given? Best advice? Um, like, Sam, you should come do a video. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Alternatives 2012 Debate. <laughs> Samantha Johnson? Hmm? No. <laughs> um, cool. Um, let's see. So the, this is for the I Got Better campaign. And what the I Got Better campaign is for, or the project, it's for helping people that are really struggling with their mental health challenges and can even be suicidal and are really right now in a yeah. spot where they're hopeless. What yeah. is the message that you would like to give those people? Gosh. I have been there and I'm just like I'm trying to think when you're for me, when I've like been there, it's it's really hard for me to hear anything from anybody. Mm -hmm. Um I feel like just take some time for yourself. Get away from any influences that, um, if you like, feel like you're being judged or anything like that, um, it's it's not just you. Basically, you're not alone. Um, here I am, right here. I mean, I've been there. So um, yeah, um, there are a lot of people out there who are very accepting, wonderful people. Try and get into those groups if you can. Um, it's also, it's, I know it's really hard, there are a lot of people who are isolated and really just, there is no way to, to do that yet. Um, like I was homeschooled, so I like, you know, no access to uh, friends or anything like that, so I lived outside town, so. Um, in that kind of circumstance, it's just really important to like take time for yourself and do things that are really enjoyable to you and kind of meditative maybe, like uh, art. Art is really wonderful. If you can sit down and focus on drawing a picture for three hours, that's three hours that you're not um, like dwelling so much on really, really horrible thoughts. So, so at the same thought, let's say you could go back and talk to yourself when you were at your lowest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Knowing what you know now, what is something that you wish you could tell yourself? I just, it's kind of that same thing, where right? Like, it's not just you, because I think part of the issue with me was that I, I wouldn't talk to anybody because I, I just felt so ashamed, like, you know, I'm not good enough, this is all my fault. So, um, that just basically that there are millions of people just like you, like literally millions. 
and they're not talking to anybody either. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I think if you can really, really realize that and meet some of those people, um, that can be a hugely significant thing. So what is your hope for the mental health system in the future? <sighs> that it's not viewed so much as you know, one population versus another. It's not so much as, you know, a disease. It's more like everybody has these feelings. Everybody has these feelings. And so this, um, my hope is that like everybody would support each other in all kinds of emotional ways. <laughs> so, last question. Um, what are some of the things that you do when you feel yourself sort of going back in recovery, sort of taking a step back? What do you do? Feel myself going back, yeah, that's, that's really hard. Um, it's, um, it's a little bit scary because you, I'm just like, oh my god, I thought I was done with that. Like, here you have, it's like, and then I, it's, it's hard when you get into that state and you think like, oh my god, things will never change. And, but it's, you really gotta like think about those moments when, um, you're like, right now, it's, things are good, and that there were times and there will be times when things are good. Uh, I guess that's, that's really all I can do is just think about, you know, there are ups and downs, there's, you know, that's, it just keeps on going on that way, and it's not like it's just going to be horrible forever. Cool. Anything else you want to say? <laughs> oh, it says, who inspired you and why? Chrissy! Yes. This is awesome. I inspire all. <laughs>